So, where am I beginning? Um, I'm gonna sit over here and look at some books because that's usually how it starts. <laughs> My name is Andrew Moncrief um, and I'm an artist, I'm a painter. been hired by Gucci to create a series of paintings which are going to be displayed in the store on Saint-Germain in Paris during Men's Fashion Week. But the exciting thing is is that at each step it's gotten slightly bigger and it's involved more people so my initial need to photograph models in the clothing led to conversation with a photographer, led to conversation with Gucci which involved Numero Art Magazine which is turned this project into a fashion editorial and then that fashion editorial, the photos are the reference images for the paintings that I'm creating for Gucci. It's just become this, this huge thing and this very exciting editorial which everyone's gonna get to see in uh, very soon, I guess. My previous work has always been sort of based on the male body from images that I've sourced from pornographic magazines. In this case, I'm using uh, images that were from the fashion editorial that we created for Numero Art Magazine. So very similar process. I'm taking the images, cutting them up and collaging them to create composite bodies like I've done in my previous work. And I'm quite obsessed with with Bacon and his depictions of the body, they're sort of, it's, be it's beautiful and grotesque. However, this time it's sort of more focused on the body and drapery and the body in the garment. All the pieces are individually scanned and then I, I load them into Photoshop and create the final image just a little bit more fine-tuned. Just a black and white printout and then uh, this gets translated, drawn onto the painting. Oh, my brain hurts. <sighs> tape them off individually to correspond with the cutout of the collage and then work work in sections. So I work with an airbrush um, and I do a sort of pseudo old master painting technique, it's, um, sort of like an imprimatur and a grisaille. So I kind of get the whole image, um, it's sketched and then the whole image sort of painted in these sort of like black and white, the sort of gray tones. And then after it gets subsequent layers of glazing and then sort of more paint and a little bit more sort of expressive gestural mark making over top of that. The exciting thing was that I didn't have to change anything about myself or my work. My work is about, you know, my own personal struggles with masculinity, male identity, queer male identity. That's why it's been so great because I, I just, I just get to do me, <laughs> which is amazing.